So, um, I'm joined by Paul, who is, amongst many other things at Cleveland Town Football Club, our club historian and oracle of all knowledge in terms of the history of the club. And we've been going since 1880, and part of the, well, the reason for this project, the mural project, really, is to be able to tell the story of the club in this pictorial form, actually, in the stadium. And we're telling the story not only of the football club, but the football club's role in Clevedon. And one of the interesting things is we've played in different locations around Clevedon, and the other, obviously, is this connection with the Hand family. So, as someone who's been involved with the club on and off for quite a few years, I mean, what are the standout things for you that we're, that we're telling in this story? I think the, the first thing is the, 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 there are several themes that we can, we can uh, describe here. The first, as you say, is the locations, because there are three very distinct locations where the club has played, um, including one that not many people will remember now. Uh, they, they originally started off at the Dark Hill Cricket Ground uh, on a pitch by the side of the current cricket pitch, then moved to what was called Old Street, which was off the town centre, but then became Timbers Road, uh, when the new road replaced where the railway went. And now, of course, we're at the everyone active hand stadium. Now, it's called the hand stadium. The hands come, come part comes from the involvement of, the, of three generations of the Han family in running the club. Uh, basically, uh, all of them were secretaries and they were involved in the club for over a hundred years. Uh, probably the one that many people will remember is Douglas Han, uh, the last of the Han family to be involved in the club. Now, we want to reflect those locations and we want to reflect those, um, those, those family involved, that family involvement. Because we're also we're standing in what's now been we've now christened the uh, Herbert G. Handbar. He was the first of the hands to to basically be a secretary of the club. And on the wall uh, in in here also there's a copy of the the, the certificate, his first uh, life membership certificate. So it sort of all started with him, um, and has gone through. And the family have gone through the club with the club basically through the first war and the second war and right up as you say till till we came here more or less, and we're still in contact with members of the Hand family as yes. well, so they're, yes. they're still around. Yes. Um, and in more contemporary times, I mean, we had the, we also try to tell the story of the club in a more modern sense and some of the modern highlights as well. I think there are lots of highlights, there are lots of playing highlights. Obviously it's a football club, so you want to reflect the fact that it's a football club. Uh, you want to reflect, uh, we want to reflect in the, in the mural, uh, the uh, club playing um, as an amateur side in the FA Cup and then following that through into fantastic runs in the old FA Amateur Cup where they had a great deal of success playing uh, many uh, nationally famous sides like Billingham Sinfonia and one that you yourself would know about, Wimbledon. Who indeed, were, indeed, uh, where I'm from, yeah. Were, were one of our opponents. So we want to reflect that because that uh, um, brought the horizon to um, uh, the, 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 the contact the club had with the rest of the country. And we're going to bring it up to date with our, obviously we had David Beckham here a few years ago when his son was playing and well, we had the Manchester City youth side here with some now quite famous names in it. I think the, 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 the more recent history is obviously the one that you remember most. Yeah. Um, and we want to reflect that and quite a lot of the uh, material that we'll display on the wall will reflect that because that's things people remember. I was there, I saw exactly. Manchester City at the Hand Stadium. Uh, I, I saw the FA Cup first round tie against Chester City at the Hand Stadium. Featuring Ro Roberto Martinez as the captain, uh, and whatever happened to him. What, another, another link with the rest of the world there, exactly. Roberto, Roberto Martinez who was the uh, captain of Chester on the day um, and had a fantastic game and was a very friendly guy and talked to lots of the supporters. Yep. We reflect that on the mural, people say, I was there when I, talk, exactly. I talked to Roberto Martinez. So it's about basically people's sort of living memory and also then linking that back to, 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 to the involvement of the club over the years in, uh, in Cleveland overall. I think, I think the, 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 the links to Cleveland is important. Um, again, uh, another link that many people won't know about in the days before clubs had their own clubhouses, uh, the, and, and when the team played at old, 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 the, the, the old stadium, uh, they changed in one of the local inns, the London Inn. London Inn, that's right. And that became their headquarters. Um, and they changed in the inn and trudged across the railway line, across the boards uh, to the ground, played the game, came back uh, with their muddy boots into the pub and they had drinks. And drinks, yeah. And it's a fantastic story, and it just reflects a different age, and we want to reflect that social history in the mural as well. 
Great. Well, we're going to get there hopefully in the next couple of months, so look out and um, we'll, we'll be posting more stuff as the project develops. I'm really looking forward to getting involved in the project and putting some of the material together that we've got because we've got a huge amount of material which we can use and it's more a question of what we leave out. Than what exactly, we what we put in. Great. Lovely. Thanks very much. Thank you.